Welcome to Your Market Update Charts of the Day on the 31st of October 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. To lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's look at the news today. Of course, overnight we saw US equities up across the board on continued positive earnings and trading around key technical levels across the major indices. Remember, we dropped to those uh, during the course of last week. It looks as though we held on by your fingernails to those important price points. Much more to come, of course, in the course of not only the next 24 hours, but the next few days that may threaten that sentiment. But we'll talk through those as we go. US futures are lower in Asian trading, Asian markets mixed. They pulled back early on. One of the reasons for that was a weaker than expected Chinese manufacturing PMI data. We saw the ASX pull back from around about 0.4% of the upside to just above neutral. The VIX did pull back yesterday from six month highs, and European futures are just about pointing to a cautious open. The US dollar index paused at the top of the range on bond yield strength, but we saw a little bit of strength coming into the yen on reports that we may see some BOJ intervention today. Gold is trading around that 2000 key psychological level. Copper had a good session yesterday, but gave up much of the gains during the US session overnight, but still closed at the top of a short-term range after being positive on Friday. All didn't have a very good day. We saw it drop to support levels again. It'll be interesting to see where this goes next or whether we're just going to get another bounce. Bitcoin remains just underneath the technically important 35,000 level, although it is higher again today. And masses of new information that the market has to digest over the next few days. We've got obviously earnings ramping up in the US over the next few days. The Middle Eastern conflict in focus as that escalates. Potential Bank of Japan intervention with their rate decision, and more importantly, the press conference subsequently this afternoon. Eurozone CPI and GDP and also US consumer confidence make up for a very busy day. Market eyes will also be on what the Fed's rate decision, but more importantly, again, the press conference on Wednesday. And of course, it's US Jobs Week with non-farm payrolls on Friday. Really important week in terms of ongoing market sentiment from here. At this stage, there's significant headwinds. That's making this a high-risk market, one would suggest. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. I'm going to start with X in the US, uh, US Steel. And you can see here we have a significant move higher. Following that pullback from resistance at 33.64, we closed higher than that yesterday. And just to put this into context, we could see a move up to around about this 35.50 in the medium term if we, this buying continues. Uh, you can see that's a move up of around about 4.5%. Could be a pause level, but it's not beyond the realms of possibility. We may move up to 37.50 should we get a continuation of this momentum. You can see here that we've got a little bit of USD strength coming in today after a strong uh, euro yesterday on this hourly chart. We've tipped over and we're looking at the highs from a couple of days ago as a key level at 105.94. We think if it breaches this, there could be a 40 pip move downwards to around about this 105.50 level. It'll be worth keeping an eye on. Technically, this looks interesting because it's had straight up and straight down movements when we've been trading in this range previously. So this is one to watch, we would suggest, along with all of the end crosses. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.